What's up YouTube, it's your boy Don Vedicus and welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Found this game on itch.io, has multiple positive reviews, uh, apparently there's a nice twist at the end of this game, and I got curious. I don't usually play games like this, but I figure fuck it, why not, let's just play. So, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For constant warnings, please visit blah blah blah. By playing Doki Doki, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Ooh, I agree. Apparently it's book club shit. It's made by Team Salvato. Yeah, I think you made that very clear. Oh, hi there. Alright, let's do a new game. Please enter your name. My name is, uh... Down, down. Down. Down, down, down. In spirit of Doki Doki. Down, down, down. In that order. Hey... I seen a known girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she will oversleep more and more frequently, and I will get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Oh man, it's fucked up. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Yuri catch up to me. Ha. Ha. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you see like you were thinking about ignoring me. Oh shit. That's mean, down down down. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Huh, some guy? Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Don Don Don, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Huh? That's not true. He told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So Yuri likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? Oh, she's such a good friend. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. We're off to a good start. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. And after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So Yuri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. 
Hello? Sayuri? Sayuri must have come into the classroom when I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Fuck off, Sayuri. Kiss my ass. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayuri. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to, uh, going to your club. Ah, uh, meanie. Sayuri is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much, anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I will bring in a new member. Oh, I see. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Yeah, that's right, tell that bitch. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Oh, she's very cunning, alright. She's pretending to be an airhead. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Oh, great. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> God damn. I dejectedly followed Sorori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Ooh, hello, mama. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayuri always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, down, down, down. What a nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Triple dots. All words escape me in this situation. Fuck, they're all hot. Look at the tits on this one. Oh, mom. Oh, mom. Oh, mom. Oh, man. This club. Fuck yes. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Mm, mm, mm. What are you looking at? Uh, if you want to say something, say it. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayuri. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Oh man. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Ooh. It's great to see you again, down, down, down. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile on me so generally feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, 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 down. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. 
Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> and how about I make some tea as well? The girls with a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling I'm awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh, wow! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. How nice. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori so grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori so talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> the icing's not going to be the only thing on her face after the end of this club. <laughs> I turn a cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Uh oh. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She, is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Oh, shit. She has a crush on us, ladies and gents. Huh? I thought you technically did. So Yuri said... Well, maybe. But not for, you, you, you know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Uh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? Th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Oh boy. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the Literature Club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Yeah, me too. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and uh, Sayori seems really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Why weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Oh man, that sounds exactly just like YouTube. 
but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Don Don Don, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, <laughs> considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I murder quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh... <laughs> what? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it loud loud, and give that back. Fine, fine. Eh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori so settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Ooh, I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Huh? Well, I guess. Sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't... like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Triple Dots I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Huh. Should I stop here? I've been recording for 19 minutes. Hmm. Can I save? Can I save right here? Oh shit, I could. I could save. Yeah, let's save right here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, return? 
Alright guys, that's Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm gonna stop it right here before it gets carry on. Well, if you like what we see so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. See you on the flip side. Bye.